Hello, welcome to Wonderblade. Today you're going to learn how to cut straight lines with an oscillating multi-tool, which can be kind of a difficult task if you don't really know the tricks on how to cut straight with an oscillating multi-tool. A common issue that occurs is that uh, a lot of people tend to cut and then the object or material that they're cutting ends up being crooked or curved or it's not exactly straight and especially if you're into woodworking where every single detail small small detail by the centimeter by the millimeter counts you need to know how to cut straight with an oscillating multi-tool and that's where i'm going to show you here at wonderblade now before we dive in first always wear safety glasses so that your eyes are protected and flying debris doesn't come at your face or your eyes and secondly wear gloves so that same thing um, wood chunks don't also come in your hands and scratch your hands or injure you so gloves preferred glasses are absolutely necessary now when using an oscillating multi-tool to make precise and straight cuts with it when gripping it if you're using two hands specifically if you're cutting downwards for example or you're cutting like this uh, what you want to do is sort of not grip it with all your might. This isn't a grip strength contest here. Just don't do that. Uh, use your fingers, kind of like you're pinching something, but with all your fingers, one hand here and then the other here. If you're using one hand and the other hand to stabilize the material you're cutting, then I would suggest instead of gripping it like this, uh, use one finger right here to stabilize the multi-tool so it doesn't go back and forth with the one finger here that really stabilizes it so when you cut it it's not going all over the place now why is this blade curved why is it not straight well it could be for a number of reasons number one regular wear and tear number two it's not a good quality blade it's number one thing to emphasize before making a straight cut with an oscillating tool is the blade now as you could see here this cut isn't exactly straight and that's because the blade isn't straight it's curved if you have a lower quality blade the chances of this happening is extremely high which is why it's always recommended to have quality oscillating tool blades before beginning your cuts Now, one thing I do want to mention with an oscillating multi-tool is that when it's on, you don't want to put your hand or your fingers right here to try to make a precise cut. If you want a precise cut, the most you should put your hand closest to the blade to is right here, not here. Don't put your hand or fingers on the blade because I want to tell you something. These things, these oscillating multi-tools, they're going at tens of thousands of oscillations per minute and oscillation is basically back and forth so imagine going back and forth hundreds of times per second your hand is is not going to be in a good place if you put it while it's doing that you're going to hurt yourself by doing that and there's probably other people on youtube and and other videos that say that oh it's okay an oscillating multi-tool is safe you know it's okay to put your fingers on no no just no don't do it and that's how to make straight cuts with an oscillating multi-tool as you can see right here it's definitely possible to make straight cuts if you don't have a regular saw with you or if it's inconvenient to have a regular saw with you it's definitely possible to make straight cuts with an oscillating multi-tool and the tips that were described in this video this exact blade right here was also used in concrete screws and hard, which is hardened steel and also steel sheetrock screws. You can also cut fiber cement, sheetrock plastic, all kinds of materials. And as you can see, it's still in excellent condition. You could use this blade over and over again and it'll still work over and over again. If you want it, check it out in the link down below.
Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with the latest oscillating multi-tool tips and tricks, the best in the industry.